Hey guys, Serpent X here. Uh, this video is going to be covering uh, what I mentioned uh, actually in my previous video regarding power supply. So mining rigs use a lot of power. Uh, my Rosewell 750 watt or Roswell, whatever you want to call it, 750 watt died. So what's in there right now is a Thermotech 550 and an EVGA 850BQ. I had to pick this up because uh, the other power supply died and I wanted to get my system running because I could only run two 1070s on the 550. I didn't want to, uh, you know, overextend it or, or, you know, stress it out too much and that died too. So right now the system's running good and by the way, I want to update the U-bit adapter which takes a PCIe by one slot and converts it to four USB connections is uh, connected to four of these cards and then Two of them are connected directly to the motherboard, like the 980Ti, as you can see, has display cable. But it's been running strong, so no errors, no issues, no problems whatsoever. I'm currently making $16.08 with uh, two 1060s and what I would say four 1070s. Even though the 980Ti is not a 1070, it can, uh, depending on the algorithm, get close to what the 1070s can do. So it's running strong, no glitches, no issues, no crashing, no whatever. Um, and I'm going to shut it down because it's time to upgrade it. So I won't have to worry about it. Now, believe it or not, the 850 watt from EVGA actually saved me some power. That used to be up to like 940, 930, somewhere in there. And now it's, you just saw the numbers. So this EVGA was more efficient than the 750 from Rosewell, but I had that power supply for a good I think five years actually so it, it, it definitely got my money's worth out of it uh, but it's, it wasn't as efficient now I'm gonna get even more efficient with this guy a HP 1200 watt server power supply so the model is DPS 1200 FB very popular among mining um, or crypto miners and here on the right hand side we got the XBER star, all one word, I don't know how to pronounce it correctly, um, breakout board. This breakout board takes a male six pin connection and with this SU Union, uh, I believe it's 16 gauge. I, I, I think people say you want 18 but this was a good price. So it takes a six pin connection and converts it into an eight pin connection or six pin, that splits off. So, the goal here, because in previous comments on my videos, we had a discussion that SATA to 6-pin, to me, I had no issues, no problems whatsoever. I heard horror stories, however, though, about SATA to 6-pin. Some people say um, SATA to 6-pin's fine. Some people say the best one's Molex to 6-pin. Some people say everything gets different. I haven't personally had any issues with my system besides the power supply going out and reconfiguring the cards anytime I had to add a new card. I haven't had any power issues. The six pin, SATA to six pin has been working fine for me. Now that's not to say that will be the same for you. You might get a poor manufactured one. You might have issues. It could burn up. It can melt. It could cause shorting. There's a number of different things. So do your research into your power components or adapters and power supply just just research it really good and verify what others are seeing uh, what they're experimenting with what they're testing what the you know what kind of issues they might have before you invest but SATA to six pin has done right and it normally comes with most of the riser cards that come to you today so I mean I don't see any problems with it but again do your own research so go here get this 550 watt Get that out, get the 850, get it out. I'm going to have to put the 550 back in there. I may put it uh, where the 850 is at and mount it like a normal power supply because I need this to run the motherboard and components. However, the server power supply is going to connect to every card. I'm going to try to get every card connected via 6-pin and every riser card connected via 6-pin. So I will start working on that and get back to you once I have everything up and running. All right, guys, finalizing the setup here. I got everything hooked up. Uh, I took out the EVGA 850BQ out. That's gonna go on my main system in my bedroom. 
wanted to show you these guys. Um, again, the conversation was SATA to 6-pin was uh, not as reliable as Molex to 6-pin, but there's a lot of articles on it, so I challenge you to go read it and study it. Besides a little bit of dust on here, um, these guys have been good. There's no melting of wires, no issues, no brittle wire. These are 18-gauge, uh, and the wires I have on there now is uh, 16. So the yellow, again, is connected to that breakout board down there. I will say something about this breakout board. Uh, again, it's XBER star breakout board. That switch right down there, I had to put it on straight in order for the power on. Synchronization, I believe, is if you have two power supplies and they're synced up. Um, you know, like if you like the the first one might be on straight and the second one might be on synchronization. I don't know. I haven't gotten two power supplies, so I don't know yet. But I had to pop that switch over to straight in order for it to boot on. Now I got these freaking crazy ass LEDs in there going off. I can see the voltage readout. I believe that's the voltage readout. I'll do. Uh, I'll post in the comments what that actually is, but I'm pretty sure that's voltage readout. And the fear of running any type of adapters is now gone. I still have four um, six pin slots so I could get four more of these cables to connect up the last two cards uh, which I will do in the future but um, now we just have this uh, crappy thermal take and I mean honestly I should have taken this, this one out but I don't really have a power supply that I can sacrifice at the moment that I want to sacrifice I'm gonna ride this 550 till it dies like the Roswell um, it's not the most efficient but it's only running the motherboard uh, that fan hard drive and uh, these two fans up here uh, so that's pretty much it that's all it's worried about and wattage wise we're lower than where we used to be so at the beginning of this video see beginning of the video I showed you it was around I think it was like 890 880 somewhere in there uh, now we're around 912 I think uh, something something else was in play but I'm still a lot more efficient than the 960 980 watts that I was pulling for just six cards because realistically these outlets are not gonna be able to maintain or handle anything above 1200 watts which is why I got that one power supply uh, but we are pushing it with the 550 so I may have to upgrade that outlet or just make sure I'm very power efficient and stay below 1200 all together with the 550 and the uh, 1200 watt power supply. I will do my research on the electrical. If you're interested in more information, let me know and I'll see if I can make a video on that. But no worries. There's the fan noise. If you want to know the fan noise, there it is spinning up, turboing up. Keeping the power supply nice and cool. Let's see what the uh, wattage is still the same. Just got a really loud turbo noise. I wish I could do temperature readout on that LCD. But that thing is powering up. Well, I mean, these power supplies run ASIC, so it doesn't surprise me. That's the max RPM, it sounds like, that I can do. That might get a little bit annoying. I might put the uh, 750 that's in my system combined with the 550 just to keep this system running a little bit more quieter. But I feel more comfortable running with this because I know it's going to run consistent power, uh, be more efficient, and be a lot less fire hazardy. So, anyways, I'm out of here, guys. I'm tired. Thanks for watching. Like, share, subscribe, and comment below. Let me know what you want me to do about reporting on your home outlet and a max wattage that it can support uh, and, and kind of safe uh, areas and, and unsafe areas. All right, see y'all later.